All right, two more lessons and we're done with page 1129. Let's take a look at page 26 and 27. Um, this is a special case of solving quadratic systems. Quadratic means we have an x squared, y squared term, and then we have a linear. Okay, so we don't, these are not squared, it's just, uh, this would be actually the equation of a line. Uh, thankfully, we don't have to graph these, okay? But, um, this would be, since this is plus, would that be the ellipse or would that be the hyperbola? Uh, but then this would just be a line, so it would kind of intersect through there and you would, you're gonna, we're gonna basically find two points, okay, where, where the graphs would cross. Let's just dive in and um, I, you could solve for X or you could solve for Y, it doesn't really matter which one. I guess it's, um, I'm just going to add, add the y to the other side here, and we'll say that x equals y plus 2, okay? I like to just keep that in parentheses that way, you don't have to. <clears throat> now, I want to plug this in up here in place of the x, and we're going to square it. So if x is y plus 2, what would x squared be? And if you're thinking y squared plus 4, you are wrong. We actually have to square the quantity, and so it would be 4y plus 4. We have to do the FOIL method, okay, in order to carry that out. But now we can take this whole quantity, which is what x squared equals, and plug it in up here in place of the x squared. So watch this. I'm going to write y squared plus 4y plus 4. So that whole thing is the x squared. You see that? Now I'm going to finish this problem. Plus y squared minus 52 equals 0. Okay? But the twos, the two y's together, so 2y squared plus 4y. Then what's 4 plus negative 52? This 4. 4 plus negative 52. Uh, 48 minus 48 equals 0. Okay. And <clears throat> at this point, you could use the quadratic equation. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Or we could factor and solve for y. Um, I'm noticing that they are all divisible by 2, so I'm going to divide everything by 2, and that will give me y squared plus 2y minus 24 equals 0. And now we can solve for y, two parentheses. So y, y. Uh, let's see, 4 times 6, I think that works, and we want this to be positive so that we have the positive 2, so negative 4y, positive 6y would give me positive 2y in here, but the negative 4. Remember, we're not done. This is taking us way back to some paces we did a while ago where we want to isolate the values of y, so if y minus either this quantity has to equal 0 for this answer to equal 0, or this has to equal 0, which means that over here y would have to be 4, because 4 minus 4 is 0, or here we could say y is negative 6, because negative 6 plus 6 would equal 0. All right. Now, we can find the corresponding x values by plugging into this equation here that we solved for x. All right, so when y is 4, plug in 4 here, what's 4 plus 2? 6, okay? So we have an ordered pair here, 6, comma, 4. Let's think about what the other ordered pair would be. If I take the negative 6 and plug it in here for y, that would give me negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. So the second point is going to be negative 4, because that's what we just solved for when we plugged in the negative 6. And negative 6 is the y value. So we always do the x value first. 
the Y value second, and hopefully you recognize by now that when we have an ordered pair like that, that represents a point on the graph. <clears throat> and if we were to graph this, ah, and now all of a sudden I'm uh, asking myself if it's plus, so the parabolic is the, not the parabolic, the ellipse. Okay, so the ellipse is the plus. All right. So basically, this is going to be something like this. You know, a graph like that, and then there's this line going through it, and they're going to intersect at two points. Okay? I just sketched that real fast. That's not accurate. But that, I'm just trying to help you see that it's intersecting at two points, the line and the ellipse. And that's why you have those... The answer is two points, okay? So we helped you with one here, and you need to go back now and show, do all your work, and then do the other problems on this lesson. We have one more lesson, which looks harder, but it actually is even easier than this, and then we're done with this pace, yay!